Hello Minniists! Welcome along to the all new Top Secret Development Centre. Yeah, it's a unit somewhere. Anywho, today what I'm going to do is change a cam without taking the engine out. How you ask? More importantly, why you ask? Well, let me explain. There's nothing to fear here. What's so hard about changing the cam? Well, first off, I will say, this cam has only run approximately 200 miles with new followers. Do not attempt to do this on old followers. The cam runs, this is the, the end of the cam. The cam runs across the engine and fits into the oil filter, sorry, oil pump at the other side of the engine. As you may know, there are eight push rods which go down into little bucket shaped things called followers. These follow on top of each cam lobe. They sit like that and go up and down with the cam lobes. This means of course that to actually get get the cam out you need to bring the followers up off the cam. This A plus engine does not have openable back. So what we need to do is somehow lift the followers. To do that, I very cunningly got some skewers and stuck with JB Weld some little tiny neodymium magnets to it. This allows me get in there to actually pull each follower up. So what I'll do is lift each follower and whack a little bit of tape round so they can't drop. Simples. Now for the other seven. Right, so with all the uh, followers lifted we can now remove the cam. Carefully. Awesome. Shouldn't actually be any resistance there, it's just trying to get through the hole. It's proving awkward. There we go. Let's let the engine down slightly. I'm going to go straight in with the new cam, just in case. So this is a brand new MED RS cam. I've given each load a going over with some Engineer's Torco assembly lube. So now I'm going to very quickly, but gently and carefully, thread this through. This end piece a bit more a bit of juice. I need to find the. There we go. Boom. We're in. 